It is literally days like this that I question and I wonder why do I have a YouTube channel? Coming into it with the mindset of money with dollar signs in your eyes thinking that this is what I'm about to do. This is what YouTube is going to do. I'm going to let you know right now. Take that thought out your head. That's not reality. Not reality at all. Take a chance you never know. But you don't know it's beautiful. I am upset, I am annoyed, I am stressed, and I'm honestly sad I'm making this video because I feel like this stuff needs to be talked about, especially with beginners, beginner people in the YouTube platform or people who are wondering, you know, what is it like who are wanting to do it. Like, I feel like this stuff needs to be talked about. So, I'm going to talk about it. Like, I'm so annoyed to the point that I'm sitting on my bedroom floor in pajamas that don't match in a robe. Because, like, that's how, like, I don't want to say over it, but in this moment, I feel like, like, I'm over it. Like, I'm over everything that happened today with me trying to film or record to upload for you guys. To give content for you guys. So, I'm pretty sure not only me, but, like... Other YouTubers who are in this, whether they're small, um, medium size, whatever you want to call it, or even large, up in the millions subscribers, like everybody can speak for this, that this is tough. Like, it takes a lot of work, a lot of patience, a lot of your time, a lot of energy, you know, a lot of thoughts, whatever. Like, it's so much work and things that put into this. And, like, like for the people who are in this full-time and all the other stuff, like, I appreciate their transparency of saying, like, this, you know, this is not for everybody. You know, people come into this thinking that they this is something that they want to do. Then they get into it and they see everything that comes with it, plays a part of it, all the work and everything I get, all the issues as well that comes along with it. Like, it's not for everybody. It's really not. And, you know, it's different when you're on the other side and just, like, looking and watching, hearing them saying that, versus, you know, you now being on the same side that they're on, listening and hearing them say that. Like, it just hit different, if that makes sense. I don't want to discourage anyone from creating a channel. I mean, I'm not going to discourage myself either. It's just pretty much, like, it's just pretty much venting and letting you guys know, like, if... This is something that you guys want to partake in and go forth in within this new year or whatever. Definitely go ahead and do it. But just be prepared that obviously any journey that you go out on, like anything that you're trying to reach, accomplish, and attain, it's not going to come easy. It's not going to be a straight pathway. Honestly, sometimes I wish it is. Sometimes I wish it was. It's just a straight shot, but it's not. You're going to have obstacles. You're going to have road bumps. You're going to have so much stuff going on. It's kind of just going to like throw you off your feet knock you off your guard off your post and it's just like either you can deal with it figure out how to maneuver through it and keep going or you can allow that to be your breaking point or the point that you stop the end of the road pretty much so y'all may be thinking you know that you said you frustrated you mad you annoying you in pajamas why you got on a full face a uh, full face and makeup this is why so it is tuesday you know I work overnight and I get off Monday morning and sometimes I can muster up the strength to film Monday night, you know, after I come home and go to sleep. Or if not, I film on Tuesdays, do everything I got to do, edit everything to have the video out on Wednesday by five. So with this particular video, it's been taking me a month, a month to film, edit, record and get out. This was my third time trying to record the type of video that I wanted to record to have out for you guys for tomorrow, but I just kept coming across so many issues like, but today I just knew that this was going to be the day I was going to be able to record it, do everything I need to do and have it out for you all tomorrow. I always feel I'm already a month behind on the certain topic, the trend or whatever. And you know, I wanted to get it out as soon as I possibly can. I did everything I had to do and whatnot. As you can see, during my makeup and whatnot, the time of me recording the video, you know, when you're showing products and everything, you want to put it close to the screen so the camera could zoom in on that and blur out everything else. 
I kept trying to do that, like, all throughout the video. And I'm just like, why is this not focusing? Like, it, it was just, like, was not focusing. I couldn't understand why. It was just annoying. So, I'm just like, whatever. I'm just going to stop showing the product. So, I was just doing what I had to do. And then, I was kind of on the fence as far as my makeup itself. I was trying a new product. Didn't think the shade matched me, really. All the other stuff. So, I have, I was having issues with that. Then, I finally got done recording everything. This was supposed to be the type of video where, you know, I record what I got to record now. And come back a few hours later to let you guys know, you know, what I really think about it. So, I'm just going to do that. End of the video. I went on my phone to watch it. And, I had recorded an hour 40 something minutes worth of a video in slow-mo in slow-mo like i don't know how android users or galaxy or whatever have but you know video options we have video time lapse then you have slow-mo i recorded the freaking video in slow-mo my heart dropped i was like oh my god no i did not like i was so like Deja, I can't believe you recorded that in, in slow-mo. Like, before I do everything, I set up my camera, I put it on video, I went to go put it on my ring light, all that other stuff. I haven't seen it in my monitor. I could have swore that the joint was on normal video. And I recorded that entire video. And once you record, once you um start recording, it doesn't tell you, the phone doesn't tell you anymore whether it's video, time-lapse, slow-mo, whatever. It doesn't tell you that. You just see the recording bar and the stop, the red stop button. So I'm like, oh my God, I'm thinking, okay, maybe I could go in it's in slow-mo. Maybe if I, I can probably edit it and try and take slow-mo off or like speed it up. I don't know. So I went in the normal, um, the, the normal editing of the phone. Couldn't do that. I went in iMovie and some parts were like normal like this. And then the parts that obviously I needed or majority of the video was me moving like this in slow-mo. Tried to fast forward it and everything, and it still even it still even didn't look right. It was blurry, like it, I can see it, but it was like had a little blur to it because it's slow mo. Slow mo doesn't focus, and it's not the quality isn't as good as regular video. So I'm so upset. Like it's five o'clock, five six o'clock Tuesday. Like what am I supposed to do now? Like what am I supposed to do? Like I need to have a video out and ready for tomorrow. Like what the heck am I gonna do? Like I was so like literally so upset. I was in the point of almost tears, like sitting in my bed, almost in tears because I'm just like I've been trying to do this video for three weeks, at th for a month. I recorded it three times, but I've been trying to do it for a month, literally for three weeks. Then literally because the one week I was sick, so I couldn't do it. Like every time I tried to record this freaking video, something was wrong with it. Like, I just cannot, I just don't understand. Like, something was wrong with it all the time. So, I was so frustrated. I was annoyed and everything. And I'm just like, <sighs> that was literally my emotion and my mood. And it still is low-key. Like, I'm just like, what the heck am I supposed to do now? I don't have a backup. Like, I, I, I wasn't prepared to record a second video today. I didn't have any, like, I have some something in mind. But it's not going, it's going to take longer than the time that I need to have this out for tomorrow by 5 p.m. Like I was so annoyed and so frustrated. And I'm just thinking about all the things in general that's just been like annoying me and getting on my nerves or like, kind of like been slapping me in the face with in the, in this entire process of being on YouTube and everything. And I'm just like, let me talk about it. Let me tell y'all everything, not everything as far as like my personal experiences and whatnot, but there's as far as like, if you want to come into this platform, Things to kind of look out for and expect and stuff like that. So I guess it's just me just having a transparent moment to kind of help other newbies or other people in general, like understand like this is what we go through. Like if you're just watching or whatever, like this is the stuff that we go through. Or if you want to come onto the platform, platform, this is the stuff that you're going to go through. Maybe you won't be an idiot like me and record a video in slow-mo and not know, but you're going to encounter a whole bunch of different issues and stuff, especially dealing with tech. Technical issues are so annoying. Like, so it's so much, so much of stuff that you want to deal with. So that's pretty much what that video is going to be about. So if you like, oh, I want to start a YouTube channel, you know, I see so-and-so, blah, blah, blah. You know, these big YouTubers doing it. They they have this, they have that. They make money, all this other stuff. Like, if you come into this platform thinking that you're about to be getting check after check after check, I'm going to let you know right now, that's not it. Not at all. If you come into this platform, period, thinking that this is about to pay your bills, thinking that this is about to give you some extra money and you're coming into it with the mindset of money with dollar signs in your eyes thinking that this is what i'm about to do this is what youtube is going to do i'm gonna let you know right now take that thought out your head that's not reality not reality at all yes don't get me wrong eventually keyword all caps eventually it can lead up to that which 
I'm pretty sure everyone on here will want that to will want it to lead up to that. But even if it don't, would you still be content putting the work in that you're going to have to put in that's going to be required? Are you going to be okay with still doing that without being compensated? Are you going to be okay for doing that for months, a year, maybe two years, maybe even four years before you pick up, blow up, and are able to start receiving monetary gain? If you coming into here, into this strictly for money, this is not for you. And I'm telling you, you ain't going to be here long. You ain't going to last long. You really not. But if this is, if you have like complete passion for it, this is something that you're, that you're passionate about. This is a hobby. You want to be able to be, be on here to share your talents and all the other stuff to expose yourself and whatever it is. If you're on here, coming on here more so for the passion side, for your talent and whatnot versus the monetary, then you'll be better off. You know, when stuff like this happen, okay, yeah, it's going to be frustrating. It's going to be annoying, but you, you can sit back and think about what, why are you doing this again? This is why I'm doing this. This is why I'm doing that. I have this, this, this in my, you know, I'm doing this, that, and the third. So it'll kind of help push you to keep going when you encounter times like this. But if you just coming in here like, oh, I'm about to get rich and da, 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 da. I'm about to. My dresser, okay. So I would tell anyone, if you're considering doing this, I even have to think about it. Like, if you're considering doing this, like, one, why are you doing it? Why are you doing it? You have to ask yourself that. If you say, well, I want to start a YouTube channel tomorrow. I want to start a new YouTube channel this month. Let me go ahead and do it. You go ahead and do it. Go ahead and be ambitious. But ask yourself, why are you doing it? Ask yourself, why are you doing it? What do you what do you want to bring to it? And what maybe can you, besides money, like, what can you, what can you accomplish pretty much from it? You can have so much success that has nothing to do with money on this platform. Period. Depending on, you know, obviously your topic and all the other stuff. But honestly, you don't you, whether you're doing makeup, whether you whether it's religious, whether you sing, whatever the case may be, like you can you can have a lot of success off of this platform that doesn't have to do with money. But are you okay with that? Again, are you okay with that? So first things first, if this is what you coming in trying to do, ask yourself why. Why what? Why and what? Why and what? Like, I'm not, I wasn't even prepared to talk about this, obviously. Like, this was not what I had in mind. So, this pretty much is coming up off the dome. But this is, like, true, honest stuff. If you want, you could go to a more formal or informed, strategic um, video. But they're all going to say the same thing. So, that. And then, secondly, be prepared to put in work. Hours. Days. Whatever the case. Especially... If you have a full-time job and you want to handle this, like this takes time. Literally, I was up at 11 o'clock. It's almost six preparing, doing everything I have to do for this video. Takes about, depending on obviously what you do, what you're doing on YouTube, it can be different. But I feel like particularly in beauty, (laughs) like it's so much time into it. But just in general, it may take you an hour two hours maybe to film your video or whatever and then not only that then it take you three four hours to edit strictly to edit then after that obviously probably depending on what you're uploading from service-wise stuff like that it could probably take you either all night or a few hours to even get the video uploaded just the normal standard definition on youtube not in hd not in 4k none of that just in standard definition may take you a few hours to upload like this is not easy like there's some people who spend all day literally depending on what it is that they have to do whether it's physically being in front of the camera filming or it's just like outside of the camera preparing thinking writing down ideas writing bullet points writing notes brainstorming whatever like it it literally takes time so much time out of your day out of like you put you put in so much time so much work and so much effort into this platform into one video that's probably only going to be 10 15 20 minutes long hours on hours on hours and hours for a video that's only going to be 10 15 20 minutes long like it's not easy it's really not so like there's a reason why jackie Ina, raven elise sean cano think media all these like big platforms these big channels it's a reason why they are where they are 
and why they make the money that they make. <laughs> like, people who try and downplay YouTube, oh, that's not no job. That ain't no job. I'm not even getting paid for it. And this is literally a job for me. Literally, 24-7. I'm always thinking about something. What can I do? What can I do? I got to edit. I got to do this. Like, it's YouTube is always in my head. Like, this is a job for me and I'm not even getting paid. This is a hobby right now. And literally, it feels like work. It feels like a job. Not in a bad way, necessarily, because, you know, eventually I would love, you know, if that's God's will, if this is just what so happens to be, I'd love to, you know, take that to the next level and have that be strictly, strictly, you know, what I'm doing. Or in this moment where you're trying to handle this and budget full, and manage a full-time job, and if you have a family and things and other stuff in general, you have a life that you have to take care of, like, this is going to literally take away from that. So you got to be prepared to sacrifice one and be willing to put that time and put that work in and not get discouraged if it don't if it don't pay off right away and not pay off as far as like money wise, but pay off as far as like, you know, don't get discouraged if which it can be. I know this is probably like what, but it is just it can get discouraging, you know, posting a video that you put time, 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 work, work in and you feel like, oh, this is probably my best one yet. My editing is crazy. I had stuff going on da da da, and you upload it and you probably only get 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 views and not just in an hour. Not in a day, maybe in a week. And your videos stay like that. I have videos on my channel that that stayed where they were are where they were the day that I uploaded. And then I have other ones who took off and are still getting views in this moment that is still bring bringing people to my channel. But then again, nine times out of ten, especially if you're starting off, your videos may sit for a second where they were when you first uploaded it so that's what i mean when i say don't get discouraged if it don't pay off i mean like that if you don't feel like it's getting the views the likes the comments whatever that you feel like it should it can be discouraging to anyone sometimes it's discouraging to me but you got to think about you know it's more than just the numbers that's on the screen it's more than just the amount of likes that you have it's more than just the views like it's more to that so if you truly believe again this is back to the why the what and the why if you truly believe that and you're passionate about it, the views, I don't want to say that don't matter, but it's, that shouldn't allow you to stop. If anything, you'd be like, okay, well, that didn't happen. Okay, let me learn from it. Let me go look at my analytics. Let me see what was wrong. Let me see what was different. Okay, next video, I know, try and push this harder. Whether I got to upload at a different time, whether I got to change my editing style, maybe I should cut down my intro. Maybe my video should be a little bit shorter. Like, it should be learn a learning process for you. Like, I know if you're just on the other side of this and you just come on YouTube and just watch videos, like, it can look like it's easy. It really can. You just sit in front of a camera and talk. <laughs> like, it can look like it's easy, but on the back end, oh, there's, like, work. There's work to be done. <laughs> there's work that you have to do. So, I literally applaud not even just the the big YouTubers and non-YouTubers, but the smaller ones, the micro YouTubers, people like me. Who are still pushing still keeping the goal no matter what they subscriber look like uh no matter what they subscriber count look like no matter what they views look like no matter what they watch time look like no matter what they cpr all that analytical stuff they still push and go and when i say be prepared to work i'm not even just saying as far as like you know put time in as far as like the, the time the amount of hours and everything physically that it may take you to prep record and edit the video but also in terms of consistency and all the other stuff as well like in this very moment this very today the algorithm is kicking my butt because i only posted one video since the second mid-december i only posted one video so i was on i was on a row i was recording stuff putting it out i was getting views getting traction getting subscribers and since i only posted that one video those weeks that i wasn't that I didn't post anything. The algorithm was like, okay, well, she ain't posting. Why am I promoting it? There's no reason for me to. So as far as like consistently, like I didn't post. I stopped posting the second week of December. It was my birthday. It was Christmas and all that other stuff. My boyfriend was here. After that, New Year's came. I recorded a video on New Year's. Then the next week, I, I, hmm, New Year's came. It was still the same within that same week. The following week, I uploaded the video of... um. Let's see, I uploaded my birthday, get ready with me. Then the week after that, I didn't upload because I got sick. I wanted to, but I didn't upload because I got sick. And then the video that I just uploaded last week is stagnant because those weeks that I wasn't on it, before I posted that video, the algorithm 
the algorithm I can't say it is thinking like okay she's inconsistent so that that wave that I was writing when I was posting every week getting views and subscribers and stuff it's like died down because of those four weeks that I didn't do anything or it was very like again off two weeks post a video off a week post a video off a week like that like that stuff like that really hurts your channel so posting every day whether it's one not every day posting every week whether it's once a week or twice a week that lets the algorithm know okay this person is serious that as long as well you know the engagement the views and all that other stuff, stuff analytical stuff if that does well as long as well as you posting every week that let the algorithm know that you're serious and it help pushes you out they're like okay girl i see what you're doing let me throw you some subscribers let me throw you some more views let me put you on the home page like stuff like that so right now the algorithm me and her we ain't on good we ain't on good terms right now because of that so it's like now i gotta work again to get back on the algorithm side so i can get the views and the things that i was seeing beforehand so that is well when it comes to putting work that as far as with editing recording and video be as well that that's gonna take time it's gonna take a lot of time take a lot of effort and then as well as getting yourself in a good space with the algorithm being consistent enough not only for the algorithm for you if you really want to be serious like being consistent for you and then being consistent for the people who are committed enough to stay subscribe and watch your videos and then lastly i would say as long as you put the work in it'll pay off it's going to pay off if you come in here just like give him crappy content just kind of like whatever about it thinking that you're just gonna post a video and it's like bam you're just gonna get views you're just gonna get subscribers if you go into it with a lack with a lazy mindset and a lazy worth ethic work i cannot talk today work ethic then you're not gonna receive you know you're not gonna benefit from it you, you're gonna stay where you are it's people who's been on youtube for years and stay is and stay at 30 60 subscribers or stay with just you know the people that's attached to their last name just watching their videos because they're they they do not take it seriously so as long as you put the time and put the effort and everything in, it's gonna pay off again in this moment don't expect for the payoff to be money monetary don't don't expect for it to even be receiving sponsors or whatever like i was like very shocked and surprised when i got my first sponsor my first person to sponsor a video like but don't expect that to be again you can accomplish and you can reach some milestones that have certain successes on youtube that has nothing to do with money goes back to the what and the why as long as you have that in your mindset and you think about that as the certain things come it's it's going to pay off again if whether you have whether it's one person on your channel that's stay committed or whatever to it or that's blessed by whatever you got to say that receive whatever talent and the information your gifts whatever it's going to pay off so that's what i have to continue to remind myself too as well all of this all of this stuff i gotta it's a i gotta keep this in the back of my head if it's something that i know that i really want to full fledged keep pushing and keep going with keep a positive mindset keep going keep pushing and you'll be good really so i mean so and this isn't even just for small youtubers it could be people who've been on here for years it could be people with thousands of subscribers like this can be for anyone or not even youtube related like if there's something that you're working on want to accomplish or want to go into this these same principles same mindset same activities or whatever things that you have to do can go all across the board for anyone and for anywhere pretty much i hope that i didn't <laughs> make y'all not want to start it but again this is just something that you guys need to keep in mind and it's more things than just that it's just something that like again going from the top of my head because this was not planned um it's more things than that but it's just something that you guys need to keep in mind if this is something that you want to do or continue to do in this very moment i feel a lot better than what i did an hour or so ago when i found out i recorded this whole video on slow-mo not this video the other video but this is one thing that I love about this platform that it can be therapeutic, whether it's you physically talking about something or just doing what you got to do. Like me being on here doing my makeup and trying on clothes and other stuff like it's it's stressful. It takes time. A lot of time you run into issues and obstacles and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, it's just like, oh, it make me feel good after it. Seeing, you know, my nieces comment, Auntie Deja, you know, look, your makeup is so pretty. Or just seeing other people, you know, telling me that they like the video. Seeing, you know, this, their response and whatnot that I get from just a few. It make me feel good. And it make me want to keep going. So pretty much I just hope that, you know, you take away something from this video. And that if you're planning to start a YouTube channel or if you are on YouTube already, that this was somewhat helpful for, uh, for you. Again, I'm I will do a more detailed, informed, step-by-step, 1 through 10 type of bullet point situation video 
about this topic and other topics when it comes to things that you need, things that you want to think about and all the other stuff when it comes to YouTube and starting the channel, I, could, I would most definitely do that. But I just hope for now in this moment, you know, my frustration, the the issue that I had, I took taking that negative, this negative situation that I felt like was negative and turned it into a positive because even though I didn't have, I don't have the video that I wanted to have up for you guys for today, tomorrow, whatever, um, we have this. So, so something came out of a good situation. I'm sorry. Something good came out of a bad situation, pretty much. So if you guys haven't already, please make sure you go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Drop something down in the comments. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have started it. If you're going to start, you know, let's just, let's talk, have a conversation. And, or let me know what other type of videos you guys might want to see from me in this new year. And please make sure you guys go ahead and click subscribe. Subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications so you can be notified when I upload next. I am on the road to 200 subscribers. It will definitely help me out. And I would definitely love to have you guys be a part of my YouTube family, my internet home, all that jazz. It probably what you, wasn't what you guys was expecting to see. It wasn't what I was expecting to see. But I hope, if anything, again, if one person took something and feel motivated, accomplished, whatever, based off of this video, then I've done my job. So, when that's it, I'm going to see if I can even muster up the strength, maybe tomorrow, to try and redo it and make sure. If, if you guys didn't learn anything, make sure you check what you're recording in. <laughs> make sure you check you in frame. Make sure you check you want to write um, whether you want to do it in 4K, 60 frames per second, whatever, all that other stuff. Make sure you check. So we're going to try this again. One more again. One more again. Love y'all. And as always, Lord willing, I will see you guys next Wednesday or next video because I'm trying to do two times a week now. Build my following and stuff like that. So Lord willing, see y'all later. Bye. Take a chance you never know. But you don't know it's beautiful.